Are you ready for meat stock? I'm not going to talk about diet because way too many uninformed people give dietary advice online. I'm also not hating on a group of people who want to get together to talk about barbecue. It's the wellness marketing that's the problem here. If you're going to claim that this or any diet can self-heal, you better bring some evidence. But this organization is run by people with certifications who are pitching coaching services with no sign of any medical training. They're also selling brain retraining to cure chronic diseases, leaky gut, not a thing, and long COVID. One thing that's common in wellness spaces is this idea that 90% of all disease is caused by diet and lifestyle. And while those are certainly important, I'm going to end this video by sharing a clip by Dr. Sarah Ballantine, who posted this morning about why that just is not true. There's a lot more at play, social determinants of health, genetics, environment, and you should be aware that anyone focusing purely on diet as a healing mechanism, especially if they don't have medical training, is just selling you on something. And this is one of the most common problems that I have with the wellness industry. Diet it matters. There's just a whole lot more that we need to talk about. So here's Dr. Ballantine, who you should definitely give a follow. Let's actually talk about the 90% number because it's misleading. About half of Americans have at least one diet preventable disease, which yes, does mean that if that person had had a higher quality diet, that they could have avoided that health problem. First of all, this does not mean that that health problem is that person's fault. Let's let's be clear on that. That soapbox rant could be a whole other video, but the extrapolation of that statistics is where 90% comes from. The idea that 90% of diagnoses are in this category of diet preventable diseases. But that does not mean the same thing as saying that 90% of what happens to you health-wise is lifestyle choices. Only 40 to 50% of health outcomes are determined by diet plus lifestyle. So the foods you eat, how active you are, how much you sleep, how stressed you are. About 30% is determined by genetics, 10 to 20% is determined by medical care, and about 20% is your social and physical environment, which would include everything from how close you live to a grocery store, to uh, how clean your drinking water is, whether or not you're socially isolated. And I think the problem with stating that 90% of diseases are caused by diet and lifestyle is it misrepresents how much your health is in your power to control. It's a statistic used to rationalize healthism. The belief that uh, your health is uh, your responsibility and that good health has moral value. Now my content focuses on improving diet quality outside of any specific dietary framework. Because even if diet and lifestyle only determine 40% of health outcomes, given the prevalence of diet preventable diseases, it's incredibly worthwhile. And what I do in my content is focus on accessible, affordable foods, permissive dietary structures instead of restrictive ones, so you can get off the diet roller coaster, and sustainable lifelong eating patterns. But it is important to know that 50 to 60% of your health outcomes are not determined by things in your control. Diet can get you a long ways, but it's not everything. It's not actually 90%. And those who claim otherwise are trying to sell you something.